let's talk about the role of the default gateway. Now here we have a topology, and if we take a look at the IP addresses in use here, we have our subnets. These two networks here are slash 24, and if you take a look at that, it means that the first three octets are the network portion. So 101010 10, 10 over here, and 101011 10, over here, which means, that's right, they're on different networks. Then down here we have a public IP address, it's a slash 28, that is our public IP address leading to the internet. So the role of the default gateway is basically your door out of your network. Okay, so if we take a look at, let's see, A1 and A2 over here, those devices looking at their IP addresses, we can tell that they're on the same network. So when they want to communicate, they do so directly to each other. They don't need to go through a router, they can just go through their switch because they're on the same network. Now, if, let's say, A1 over here wanted to communicate with B1 on the far right over here, well, if we look at their addresses, we know that they're on different networks. So in order for them to communicate, they need to go through their default gateway. So A1's default gateway, we see right here, 1010.101.1, which is on the router. And B1's default gateway is 10.10.11.1 here on its router. So what happens is when a device tries to communicate with something off network, it generates the information it wants to send, and it begins to go down the OSI model until it gets down to our transport layer. Okay, that's our layer four. And it's there that the TCP and UDP ports will be assigned as a source port and a destination port. And then the data is sent down the OSI to the network layer. Now, here's the thing. In that packet, we have our source and our destination IP addresses because we're at the network layer. So our source address is host A1's IP address and our destination IP address is host B1 at this point. And then it goes down to our data link layer. And it's at that point we have a source address that's going to be our source MAC address and it'll be A1's source MAC address. But the device knows that, you know what, this IP address for B1 is off network, which means I need to send this data to the default gateway. So then our destination MAC address is not going to be the MAC address of host B1. It's going to be the MAC address of host A1's default gateway, which is going to be this router right here. And then it gets down to the physical layer in which the data is going to be sent across the wire and it's going to go to the default gateway of the router because host A1 is trying to send data off network and that's the role of the default gateway to get off network. So if host A1 was headed out to a web server out here on uh, the internet somewhere, well guess what? It's going to be going through its default gateway which is its router so that it can be routed over there. So that is the role of the default gateway. So, how do you find out what your default gateway is? Well, it depends on which operating your system that you're on, really. So, the idea is, like on Windows, for instance, you could use ipconfig, okay? And ipconfig is going to show you your default gateway. Or you could use the command route print. That is another option. That will print your routing table for you. And then, at your routing table, you're going to look for the word default or a route that is all zeros. This is also uh, your default route. Sometimes the routing tables will say default. Other times they'll have a route with all zeros, which is also your default route. Now, if you're on Linux, it's going to be a little bit different. Use the command route and it'll print the routing table. Then you'll be able to see what your default route is. And if you're on a Mac, well, you can use netstat dash R in and that will print out your routing table again so let's take a look at a couple of screenshots here this is our Windows IP config command and you can see down at the very bottom default gateway 192.168.121.1 in this instance so that's your Windows IP config should be pretty familiar with that one uh, now on Linux if you run the route command here we see their default route just uses the word default it does use a gin mask of all zeros, but again, that's your default route. And 
Actually, in this instance, the gateway or default route is 1010.101.11. And lastly, let's take a look at Max. So in, on a Mac, when you run netstat-rn, it prints out your routing table. And we have the word default up here, the very top. And it's pointed to 192.168.1.1. So that's the role of the default gateway, is to help your device send data off its local network. And how you can find your default gateway by running a couple of different commands. And again, just quick review. On Windows, you can run ipconfig or route print. On Linux, route. And on macOS, netstat-rn. That'll get you your default route. Next up, we're going to move into routing. Now that we can talk about the role of the default gateway, which leads us right into the routers. Next up, we're going to talk about routing fundamentals. So I'll see you there shortly. Thanks for watching and subscribe here to get the latest from CBT Nuggets. And if you're interested in IT career or learning more about IT in general, hey, swing by cbtnuggets.com and sign up for a free trial.